Hello, hi, my name's Gary Parsons and I'm an illustrator and I illustrated the wonderful Lama Glamorama written by Simon James Green. Now, since this book has been published and has come into the bookshops, people have been asking me how I to draw the difference between a llama and an alpaca because at first sight they look very similar and they are easily confused. So I took myself along to the Vauxhall City Farm, which has, uh, I think, three alpacas, and uh, I wanted to have a look for myself to see what the differences were. So what I thought we could do together, if you'd like to join in, is uh, draw an alpaca and draw a llama, a bit like Larry. Uh, so all you need is a pencil and a piece of paper. Um, so grab those and we can get started. Okay, so let's have a go at drawing the differences between a llama and an alpaca. And if you want to join in, then great. Get your pencil ready and your paper. So on this side, I'm going to draw a llama, a bit like Larry. And on this side, I'm going to draw an alpaca and we'll see if we can work out how different they are. So I'm going to start up here and I'm going to draw in the eyes. Larry, there he is. And llamas have a longer nose. Let's give him a bit of a smile. Like that. And they have hair on their faces, but not quite as much as alpacas do. Let's just put in Larry's funny teeth at the front. And of course his long kind of quiffy hair like that and llamas have longer ears shaped like a, a banana so let's put those kind of bananas banana ears in yeah just put in his body like this go down to his bottom it squiggles in, and that's his back leg. I'm going to carry on down the front. One leg, two, three, four, and I'm going to put in his hooves at the front. bit of grass. I uh, mustn't forget to put in Larry's tail which goes over like that and he has a an orange patch here and he has an orange patch on his back like that and his hair is, is a little bit more straggly than an alpaca and sticks out a little bit more like that. And on this side I'm going to draw the alpaca and alpacas are a little bit smaller, so I'm going to start the alpaca further down. So I'm going to put in his eye just about here. And alpacas have more hair on their faces. And their faces are a little bit more stubby, a little bit blunter, a little bit shorter. Let's give him some more hair on his, around his face like that. So I think they look a little bit more sheep like and their ears aren't banana shaped like Larry's they're pointed more like how I've done them more like a kind of cat so if you imagine that alpaca wool is super soft and lovely to rub your face in so we want to make it a little bit thicker and maybe look a bit finer and this alpaca is going to be standing on his back leg. So I'm just going to extend the field of grass just over here a bit. So I know where his body needs to go. Uh, there's his bottom. And let's do back leg there. Give him a fluffy sheep tail. 
and we can make one leg go up in the air like this perhaps and put this one down here like that so there we are there's the differences so um, the llama has banana like ears and the alpaca has pointy ears and the llama has a longer face and the alpaca has a shorter face and the alpaca has softer wool and Larry the llamas his hair is a little bit uh, more stiff so there's the stiffer hair a little bit coarser and of course The alpaca is shorter. Let's put our little measurement in in the middle so we remember. So that's it. Banana ears for llama and pointy ears for the alpaca. I hope your drawing went well. Maybe you want to uh, have a go yourself. That would be wonderful and it would be really great. So there you have it. We've done uh, five differences between llamas and alpacas. Uh, so why not have a go yourself if you haven't joined in already? Um, and maybe visit your local alpaca or visit the Vauxhall City Farm, it's a wonderful place. Um, and be sure to post your drawings on social media um, so that I can have a look, I'd love to see them. Good luck.